Erev Tov, Chavarim, I'm Stephen Benu. You're watching Israeli News Live. We do have breaking news this evening. A very precious brother, a friend of ours, uh, not too far from where I live here, speaks the German language and English, and he has shared with me in an email breaking news coming out of Germany. The German government is calling upon its citizens to stockpile both food and cash enough money and enough food to last at least 10 days. Now, the link is here on your screen. I know it's in small print. You probably don't see it there. I will include it in the subject line. It is in the German language. Use Google Translate to translate it for you, but he let me know already what the article is about. I did translate all of it, though. Read it so I could see for myself. Going to share this news with you because this is a major, major uh, breaking news. It is Definitely, according to the article, the article's uh, in translated to English says federal government citizens should load food and cash. That's what you're seeing. I have it in German on your screen for those of you that can speak German. August the 21st, 2016, it happened today. The article states the federal government calls on citizens to create a supply of food for 10 days. This is intended for the crisis case from which one does not know whether this is the outbreak of war or a financial crash. Now, I kind of lean more towards the war, not so much the financial crash. And I'm going to share with you why. And you're going to see that in just a moment here. I don't think that it's a financial crash. The war will help resolve their financial problems. No doubt that they're suckered down in bed with the Obama administration right now. Uh, but anyway, let's look a little bit more at what the article actually states. Now, they're quoting here from the AFP news agency reported on Sunday at 9.13 p.m. All right, here it is. They're, they're just in a different time zone. Uh, but this is pretty weird. For the first time since the end of the Cold World War, the federal government, according to a report, wants to encourage new stockpiling the population again so that they do in the case of disaster or an armed attack temporarily can take care of himself. Now this is just being translated using Google Translate. Okay guys so it may sound a little odd because you got to flip things around a little bit and I didn't take the time to really break all that down because I wanted to bring it to you exactly the way it is. All right the population has stopped. Hold up personal supply of food of 10 days. Quoted the Frankfurt uh, Algemein, and I cannot pronounce these German names, of a concept for civil defense which is the government is requested to adopt on Wednesday. According to the report, the population should be able to protect themselves in an emergency before calling government action to ensure an adequate supply of food, water, energy, and cash. Therefore, the population should also be stopped for initial treatment for a period of five days Reproach two liters of drinking water per person per day. It is stated in the text drawn up by the Ministry of Interior. According to FOSS, in the, in the first strategy for civil defense since the end of the Cold War, 1989, she had been given in 2012 by the Budget Committee of the Bundestag in order. In the 69-page concept, it stated that an attack on the territory of Germany, which requires a conventional defense play, was nevertheless, it was necessary nevertheless to such sufficient prepared, not fundamentally exclude for the future development of life-threatening, a life-threatening situation. My gosh. All right, guys, let's look at some more of this. The article continues on. Federal government citizens should load food and cash, okay, as the article states here. Interesting that the FAZ reported in this regard that the federal government also worry about their own safety. The newspaper writes that the paper literally, literally stand. Precautions are the event, the task of the service office to meet in order to relocate the performance of duties of a public authority to another sheltered place, an emergency seat that is. It is not clear whether these preparations are, uh, are related to a possible war. The, the, go the federal government has recently changed its military strategy regarding Russia as an enemy. Uh, NATO considers Russia an attack on NATO territory possible. Therefore, NATO wants the U.S. and the EU also to defend outside their own territory. Reuters writes that the concept of the need for a reliable alarm system, a better structural protection of the buildings, and sufficient capacity discussed in the health system. 
uh, would uh, Reuters, the civilian support of the armed forces should be again a priority. These include modifications to the traffic steering when the bun wire must relocate combat units. So again, it does seem like they're preparing for war. Let me just show you here, and I'll make sure we're not too loud on our on our volume here as we're we're going along here. Russia here, of course, they're in Crimea. Russia has been doing military drills, uh, landing, etc preparing for possible conflict. Uh, without a doubt, I, I, I just, I can't help but say this, guys. I don't think Russia will be the one to launch the attack. I have reported over and over and over here where Ukraine has been getting ready. <clears throat> if you remember, Erdogan and Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko, Petro Poroshenko, had already worked a deal in taking back Crimea. This was news we broke back, I believe it was in March. Guys, and I'm not the only one. I did find another source for that today. So I'm not the only one that has reported that type of news there. But we've shown how that everything has been instigated by Kiev, by Ukraine. And I don't think it's just Ukraine by itself. I had one guy write me a comment. It's not Ukraine. He said it's the United States that's pushing our people. I agree with that. It is NATO and back in there. And NATO is also pushing, uh, more so the Obama administration is pushing the German government into fighting a war, whether they want to or not, whether their citizens are behind it or not. And that's exactly what we see. Again, and even in this clip here, this is Ukraine forces there moving down to Crimea. Uh, Russia is digging in. They're preparing to be a defensive force. The other way around, though, with Ukraine, they're preparing an offensive uh, attack. Uh, the United States has used mercenary forces, hired military to come in, like we see with Blackwater, etc., to fight battles. That's what's been going on in Ukraine as well. But it's not just Ukraine that is the sticking point or the place that would ignite this war. Let me just remind you guys of something that you may very well remember anyway. And that's this young man on your screen now, the Jewish young man there who states uh, here in his near-death experience, this is Nathan, the young man, he speaks about when he had been, uh, according to a doctor, from what I understand, the doctors stated that, you know, that there was enough evidence there that he'd actually died or he had a seizure, whatever the case may be, but it appeared that he was dead for 15 minutes. He comes back. He talks about all kinds of things, but one of the main things that he speaks about was a war that's going to break out, two different wars, one called Gog of Magog, where he says Gog will come down and will attack Russia. Well, you know, the weird thing is, is he said that Obama is Gog. That's exactly what he says. Blew everybody away. In fact, one friend of ours that follows the ministry here pretty closely has studied deeply on the Gog and Magog wars for years. He's done a lot of research. He said he went back. He said instead of criticizing, he went back and did some search. He said, if you think about it, go right over the top of the globe from Israel due north, you hit the United States. Well, you know, that's exactly right. Even if you look at the NATO, or the UN map where they lay it out like that, that's, in fact, that's where some of the flat earth uh, uh, believers say that that's what the earth really looks like. Again, what is it? Due north, you hit Alaska. Uh, maybe you hit part of the United States uh, Central as well. I, I can't say for sure. But the point is, it's interesting, no matter which way you look at it, due north is the United States. And I firmly believe that NATO is... Gog anyway. I believe that. I believe that it's the king of the north, led by none other than a Roman army. But young man right here, he says it's going to be something that is called a, a very big war. Uh, everybody, the whole world will be involved in that war, according to what I understood, he says here. All right, I'll turn down the volume a little bit. The whole world will simply be involved in that everybody, all the, all the going, the nations, all the Arabs, everybody, come against the nation of Israel. And he, the rabbi says, and how? And Nathan, it will begin with a person who start the war will be somebody named Gog, as far as I understood up there. Only uh, there I understood. Rabbi, he is called Gog, yes. And uh, he wants to know who Gog is. And he tells him who it is. <clears throat> he said, it's Obama. He says, President Obama? You know, Rabbi, he will start Gog and Magog. He will be the one who started that war. Okay? He will bring his whole army. He will start the war. All right. Now, that's the odd thing, guys. Obama starts it. 
And he's nothing more than a puppet for the Vatican guys, all right? Now, looky here. Another reason why there could be a problem here and why the Germans may be calling for, for stockpiling, more refugees, Germany strengthening its controls at the border with Switzerland. Refugees, migrants appear to have found a new route to their way to the north. It should lead from North Africa across the Mediterranean Sea, Italy, Switzerland, finally Germany. The numbers of people uh, strengthened for, for the, are, are head straight for this route. The federal police reinforced controls. You know, I said, but I don't, you know, the refugee crisis may be used in order to help weaken Western Europe. They've sent all these refugees here, as it was said by President Zaman of the Czech Republic. He said it's an organized invasion, and they may end up fighting for the other side. All right, one last uh, uh, frame I want to share with you here, and this is when I think about this young man, Nathan, and him saying that Gog starts the war. Remember what just happened yet, uh, the other day? This article right here from independent.co.uk on August the 20th, Syria war. U.S. fighter jets scramble to stop Syrian planes bombing special forces and allies in Hasaka. Remember that? American fighter jets have been scrambled to stop Bashar al-Assad's air force bombing U.S. special forces and anti-ISIS allies on the ground in the Syrian conflict intensifies. Defense officials said the Syrian planes were leaving the coalition aircraft arrived, meaning they did not engage in combat, but that the U.S. would not hesitate to, def to defend its forces. Captain Jeff Davis of the, United, of, of the American jets were sent to the northeastern city of Haska on Thursday after two Syrian Air Force SU-24 started airstrikes near where coalition forces were conducting operations on the ground. You know, it won't take much, guys, to ignite this into a full-blown-out war. And now what do we have? China sending their forces in, they say, to train Assad's forces, sending military troops on the ground right there. Russia got there. Russia now using Iran's air base. Turkey even offering using the Insulik air base as well. I mean, guys, we're, it's all boiling down to a major conflict. Now, Nathan mentions how they all want Jerusalem. I agree with that as well. And I can show you that on all the sides there. The Jordanians want to control it for the Arabic people. The United States wants it for the Pope of Rome. So do most UN nations, EU members as well. They want to hold it, hold out for that. All right. Russia wants uh, that whole area. Why? Because he made an oil deal with Mahmoud Abbas. So it's important that the Palestinians get their own state. And he doesn't just want that the Vatican goes in there and takes it all over and the U.S. gets it and they lose out their deal again. See, Russia is already there in Syria because of the oil to begin with. All right. And it's a huge oil reserve in the West Bank. And that's the deal that Russia's already signed. So, yes, everybody wants Jerusalem. For one reason or another, they all want Jerusalem. Guys, it's breaking news. Germany, again, I have to say it again, Germany is calling on their citizens to stockpile cash and food. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.